Hello guys, welcome to the channel. You are watching Technicos, and today we're going to talk about Lenovo ThinkPad 480, the business laptop from Lenovo. Talking about the design of this laptop. Now, this is a 14-inch business laptop, and most of the frame is plastic, and it has a soft touch to it. Uh, it has a soft touch to it and uh, feels pretty premium and kind of rugged you can say like strong built you can say so that's about the build quality now this laptop comes with a fingerprint sensor and has a old school design to it because of the mouse which is given to it in middle of the keyboard actually this laptop has three options for keyboard a middle one in the middle of the keyboard like how the old school business laptop used to have and a mouse or you can say buttons just below the keyboard and then the touchpad which can also be used as mouse buttons this does not have a optical drive which is pretty common in slim laptops these days i mean if a laptop is sleek how can you fit in a optical drive i don't understand and also the cooling vents or the vents from which it releases the heat are pretty well placed i can say it's on the right side of this laptop and on the bottom i don't like it when they are here but actually it's kind of useful you can you can use it as a heater in winters while you're typing bad joke whatever now the laptop is super lightweight it weighs about 1.5 kg which is actually too light for it to be in a business laptop criteria and that to 14 inch i mean i have a dell attitude series business laptop and it weighs about 1.8 kg and feels less sturdy than this one so the build quality is pretty amazing how it feels very sturdy and reliable and rugged and also it is very light so it i guess the build quality is overall pretty good i would say on the front it has this red color led which turns on when the laptop is on kind of like the red color subscribe button which is down there i bet it's annoying press it make it gray it will be good for your eyes come on talking about the display of this laptop now it has a 14 inch ips display which is full hd resolution and also a touch screen how cool is that a business laptop with a touch screen Hmm now the display is anti glare so no weird reflections on your display of your face or your light or your tube light or your bed or your whatever or whichever is visible so yeah and also the brightness can go up to 269 nits but to be fair the brightness is not so much the display is not so bright it is kind of a dull display it's pretty sharp though but the display lacks a little bit of brightness now talking about the performance of this laptop it comes with a 8th generation i5 processor from intel and obviously you can get an upgraded version of i7 and it comes with 8 gigs of ddr4 ram which can be upgraded to 32 gigahertz and it works on 2400 megahertz frequency because a lot of you ask that weirdly it has 4 gb of intel uhd graphics and comes with a option optional 2 gb of nvidia mx 150 graphics so there is a option to get it with more money so yeah <laughs> Now it comes with a Windows 10 Professional out of the box and can perform all of your day-to-day -day work life operations but no hardcore gaming or video editing can be done on this because obviously it does have a Core i5 or Core i7 whichever you are looking for but does not have much of a graphic or you know GPU settings or even the GPU cards and all so I would not prefer or not advise you to get it for video editing or gaming because there are different devices made for video editing and gaming so this one is a business laptop and can perform all the basic things that your work life needs now it has a standard hd webcam and also the audio quality is pretty decent talking about the ports in this laptop now it comes with a intel thunderbolt 3 port which is a type c port for charging a usb c port just for connectivity two usb 3.0 ports one 3.5 mm jack one 4 in 1 sd card reader one hdmi port one ethernet or rj45 port 
and one nano SIM port. Now it has multiple security options for you to choose from. A fast ID authentication thing, which I don't know. A fingerprint sensor, which uh, this one has. A IR sensor, which you can also get and a normal webcam, you know, face recognition, which you can get. And one Kensington lock slot. Yes, not Kingston. Kensington. I am not wrong. I saw this from Lenovo's website. Kensington, not Kingston. Talking about the battery in this laptop. Now it comes with a 48 watt hour dual battery, lithium ion, and it claims about 14 hours of uh, screen on time. But on like when I checked it out, how I've been using it, on 50% brightness and 50% performance, you can get about 14 hours easily you can get it and with full or max brightness and max performance you'll get about six to seven hours of screen on time which is quite decent to be honest you get to see about six hours of claimed battery time from normal usual companies but the thinkpad has pretty good battery life i would say i would totally recommend this if you need it for business reasons because the battery is pretty amazing it's stand the standby time is next level it also comes with a 65 watt adapter and has a type c charging which means it's pretty fast charges are pretty fast now there are different configurations of this laptop for you to buy and i will tell you the one which is available right now it's the core i5 version with 512 gb of ssd 4 gb of intel usd graphics and 16 gb of ddr4 ram it is available for around 1 lakh 22 thousand and yeah the price is really high and i don't know what makes these uh, business laptops so pricey and so expensive but if you are in that game of business and you know if it's worth or not I, I would not suggest you anything. I would just say go with your instincts. If you think this is worth 1 lakh rupees, get it. If you don't think it's 1 lakh, it's worth 1 lakh, go for some other brand. It's fine. It totally depends upon you. Because I really don't know what's the reason why these business laptops are so expensive. So I cannot easily recommend you this one. This was it. If you liked it, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, comment down below, it's up to you. I'll see you in the next one.